As you can see, our tool magazine is located on the front of this machine. It's very user friendly. We don't have to run around on the back or to the side to load tools. This is our visual tool management screen. This will allow us to rotate the magazine manually. It also gives us a little bit of data on the tools that are in the control and what pocket they may reside in. Uh, what I'd like to do for you is show you how easy it is to load a tool here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in manual mode. We're going to unlock the door. You can see inside the magazine here. I'm going to go ahead and load our tool into our pot. You can see how easy that is. If I have multiple tools, say 10 tools to load, it's going to be a lot easier to put them in here than it is to put them in one by one through the spindle. Also located in the magazine below down here, we have our tool ID reader. Go ahead and shut the door. Next thing I want to talk about is the axis. Our x-axis moves left to right. Our y-axis moves front to back. Our z-axis is up and down. The trunnion table itself, which is supported on both ends, it's a high rigidity table. It goes plus 120 degrees, minus 30 degrees. The table itself is the c-axis that can spin, spin plus or minus 360 degrees. We're going to check out our new smooth AI control. One thing you notice is different than from our Smooth X is we have this additional monitor up top. Uh, this is an optional monitor that will allow you to run a PC and software of your choice. In this case here, we're showing the Smooth monitoring software uh, on top up here. Down on the bottom control, this looks uh, similar to our Smooth A, excuse me, our Smooth X control. It is also a full touch screen uh, control here. Uh, the user has couple nice features on here. We can actually control the two panes here for whatever they want to do. Uh, kind of like a car stereo. I can go ahead and here hit my settings. You can see it has my work offsets and then uh, some tool data up here. These are all can be pre-configured on how the operator wishes to set it up. So the last thing I like to do for you is I like to go ahead and show you a demo. Uh, so the demo part itself looks something like this. Uh, this was like an aircraft component. Uh, we program this with Esprit CAD CAM. Um, without uh, any delay here, I'd like to go ahead and let's get that demo going for you. We are featuring a Kurt Pyramid fixed range system. This allows us to run multiple parts. It also allows us to gain access to mul multiple part features. Typically, you would want to optimize your tools when programming a part like this. We are going to be jumping between stations to give you a good look at the full range of machine motion. We are doing some profit milling here, roughing out a pocket. This is a half inch end mill, it's uh, running 11,500 RPM. We're utilizing our smooth machine configuration G61.1P0. definitely want to highlight the table can handle 1100 pounds this is a smaller fixture but we can definitely accommodate some bigger ones our next tool up it's going to be a Eighth inch ball end mill, we're going to be doing some five axis edge breaks along the wall tops. Putting a five thousandths little break on the top of the edge here. You can see some of the movement. Our A axis, excuse me, our B axis goes up to around 90 degrees there. 